What is a peer support? Meet people where they are at currently in their life. Five, 10, 15 minutes, read a page. Winners and losers have the same goal. You're looking at one. My name is LT and I am a certified peer support specialist for drug and alcohol addiction. Are you interested in becoming a peer support but you're not really quite sure what it is? That's what we're gonna be talking about today, so stick around. First, let's define what a peer is. The actual definition of peer is to look keenly or with difficulty at someone or something. So you're peering, right? But we're peer supports. Peer support workers are people who have been successful in the recovery process, who help other people who are experiencing similar situations. How? through shared understanding, respect, and mutual empowerment. Peer support workers help people become and stay engaged in the recovery process and reduce the likelihood of relapse. That is the technical definition of what a peer support is. Someone who's been there, who has done that, who's going to keenly look at someone and help them understand what they are going through. So what makes me a peer support specialist? First, at the making of this video, I have two years, seven months, and three days clean and sober from any mind-altering substance. Two times in my life, addiction has consumed me and made my life unmanageable. In the early 2000s was meth. I ended up getting a felony. I had to do a year in jail, four months in a halfway house. The second I got off probation, I started smoking weed. I didn't know what addiction was. All the stuff they taught me was in one ear and out the other. And these were professionals, mind you. But I wasn't ready either. But the fact of the matter is, is I had no idea I was an addict. I was scared straight and I maintained my life up into my mid 30s and did a lot better in life. As far as responsibility, credit, got married, had a couple kids, and all that stuff is concerned. But in my late 30s, I became a fifth of night whiskey drinking right out of the bottle Gallons on the weekend, alcoholic. 2017, my son was in a severe accident. We almost lost him. And that gave me all the justification I needed to drink as much as I possibly could. Until one day I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I called my dad. He took me to detox. I was belligerent drunk that day. Spent three days in a hospital. After that, I checked into an IOP where I spent five months working a program. Five months, three and a half hours every night five days a week in mandatory AA and NA meetings on the weekend. And now I am here in front of you with all that experience to show you, support you, and encourage you that if I can do it, you can do it. And I'll show you how I did it and I am continuing to do and maintain it. I am one of your peers and I am here to support you. That is a peer support. And as a peer support, we connect more deeply with an individual than say, a professional who's studied out of books and just jumps into the field. We are living proof that getting clean and living a better life is possible. And you know what? The medical field is starting to realize this. And they're starting to hire people as peer supports because of that ability to connect deeper with clients and help people maintain long-term sobriety. So in a nutshell, a peer support is someone who has lived experience, has a passion to help others to achieve and to change their lives in a way that we know is possible. A happy life free from addiction. Now you can become a certified peer support. They have a week long 40 hour course that you can go to, take a test and pass. There are some requirements to that. You have to have one year clean. You need a couple of recommendation letters. You need to have a good statement of what you are already doing in the recovery world. If this description defines you and this is something you wanna do, go for it. Super rewarding, super fulfilling. Let me tell you what we do here at Recovering Addict. <music> Recovering Addict is a relapse prevention center nonprofit of peer support. My goal is to have our nonprofit take people from addiction and turn them into peer supports and then release them to the community for good work. Our nonprofit here, Recovering Addict, has two tiers. One is digital. We have a huge online digital community. Through a Discord is where we communicate and keep in touch and help each other out. We have daily Zoom meetings that drop in there. We have educational live streams and educational videos. Our Discord is 24 hour support. We call it recovery in your pocket for the newcomer and and those who want to become a peer support. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe, ring that bell, and stay tuned. Right now I'm on a 75 day hard challenge. I'm on day 29, so I've been daily vlogging for the last 29 days. I go live every single morning on Facebook to show and lead by example as a peer support what it looks like to actually train your mind and your body into new, better, healthy habits for your life. Join me. Now let me show you our local program. Let's go. And this is where our local program is. Come check it out.
real quick how this relapse prevention center program works is people show up at six o'clock we work out from six to seven and then from seven to eight we have book studies and peer support group meetings we meet people where they're at in life recovery wise and physically wise if they come in and they need to take it easy we take it easy on their workout if they haven't done the 12 steps we give them a book to do the 12 steps if they've been to rehab now what we're the now what we have them go on to a relapse prevention book relapse prevention therapy workbook by terence gorski so my first workout for today because i'm in that 75 hard challenge today's day 29 i was in the snow it's cold this morning day 29 crushing it snow and it's snowing as we speak and of course i'm the only one here it's not fair weather so why show up and it's monday i get it people gotta go to work let's go get some cardio Burr. it's cold i was freezing but guess what i still went out and did it now i'm on workout two so let's see what we're gonna do. Utah weather, I tell you what. 